In this Wreath Basics tutorial, I will share how I put on my embellishments, how I use my Pix machine, also how I put my sign on my deco mesh wreaths and what supplies I use. I hope this is helpful. Okay guys, what I did is I took off uh, or I separated the small little curly cues and it, it does have a wire on it, but I want it to be just a little bit longer. So I'm using my PIX machine and what it does is it puts this little PIX on it and they have, you know, their sharp little blades. You know, I get comments, questions all of the time. People have their own opinions about, you know, the need for a PIX machine. This is just something that I invested in many years ago and I love it. And uh, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, but what it does is it just kind of, you know, gives the little, the little um, steel picks. And then let me cut this a little bit longer because I want it to get a little bit of this uh, fabric or whatever so that it has something to hold on to. So then it puts a small small pick in it. So then I can glue it into my deco mesh wreath in between those flaps and it holds it a little bit better. All right, so I took my small uh, styrofoam balls from Hobby Lobby apart and uh, this wire is just a little thin. So to get it a little thicker, what I do is I just kind of bend it like that and then I, and, you know, it just has something a little bit thicker for my steel picks to go into. And so I'm going to do that for all of these. And I've already put them on my branches. And uh, that's what I do, guys, to put my embellishments in my wreath. So that's why I'm sharing that. I use my picks machine and uh, just put the steel picks on the end so that, and then I glue it, secure it into the, the flaps of the deco mesh. And so then everything stays nice and tight, um, you know, and last for years to come. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, quickly show you here. I kind of go in between the deco mesh and just make sure that I just put some glue in there and then I secure it in between, you know, the deco mesh so that it attaches like that. And that still picks just gives me the added security that I want for my projects. So then now, since I'm using three different things, what I think I'm going to do is just kind of sporadically put these around. It just kind of goes in between that deco mesh. And, you know, the glue gives it the added security as well as so that, uh, you know, it doesn't pull out or fall out. So then now we're going to put some white branches. And you know what? I think I may go ahead and put on my sign and then uh, put my embellishments around my wreath. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to put on our sign next. And then I use these cable ties. I will have a link for them if you're interested of where I got them from. Okay, they're already sticky, but I just like the extra security. And so I just have some uh, E6000. And yes, my E6000 is black. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I got home and was going to use it. And, uh, it comes out black but anyway it holds the same so I just put a dot of that sometimes I just put it on the board itself also because they're sticking together okay and then I, I, I do some uh, you know hot glue And then I use uh, pipe cleaners. 
to, you know, string them through or uh, thread them through. I'm not going to do that yet because I want this to dry. So I use some of these clamps to uh, hold my zip ties on or my uh, cable ties. And I let that dry for a little bit. And then I go back and put in my pipe cleaners and then attach it to the frame of my wreath. Okay, so I have my sign on there, and then I just started to uh, put my embellishments in there, just kind of space them out that, the way that it was, you know, very appealing to the eye. And uh, so, again, what I do to attach my embellishments is I use my picks machine to put a small picks on there, uh, or pick, whatever one chooses to call it. Uh, anyway, and then I, you know... We'll just continue to go around and, uh, you know, I kind of space out my embellishments a bit. So that's what I do. I just uh, put my embellishments in between those flaps, just gluing it, making sure that, uh, you know, everything is nice and secure. And uh, this is my favorite way to put embellishments and also my signs on my wreaths. So I hope this was helpful.